I'm Colin Pye, one of the regional ministers with the Central Baptist Association, and I, I bring you greetings from uh, the other members of the team. Um, I just want to start by saying uh, how incredibly proud I am of our ministers and churches who have made an incredible journey, many of them in the last couple of weeks, um, particularly in terms of technology for some of them. But we're living in a situation that we, we, we haven't trod this way before, have we? We haven't journeyed in this way and we're having to find new ways of doing church. So, well done. <laughs> um, I hope you hear that. I wanna, just want to bring you a little bit of encouragement today. And um, there's a lot of material being put up online by uh, many of our ministers. Got good stuff up there, so I wouldn't, I didn't think I'd replicate that. I thought I'd uh, share a couple of songs with you um, that I've written over the years. That you can find links to YouTube um, stuff if you want to. But these songs are actually songs you can use. There, there's no copyright issues. Um, I, I hope they'll be a blessing to you. Um, but they're not, they're not so much worship songs as in us singing to God. They're what I imagine that God might be saying to us at this time. They are an invitation that, is, that are rooted in the scriptures. Um, and the first one's a very simple one. It's, it's an invitation to lay your burdens down, uh, to come to Jesus and rest, based on the words of Jesus. There's a lot of anxiety, worry and fear around and this song simply encourages us to come and to cast our burdens upon Jesus because he cares for us, to find his rest and his peace. Thank you. 
So the first one song was a, an invitation to, uh, that's Jesus speaking to us, saying, come lay your burdens down. And the second is a, a song I wrote called uh, Holy Ground. And it's an invitation, again by God, it's to take off our shoes because this is holy ground. And it's from the story of Moses and the burning bush. And it's the, the reality that holy ground is often found in the most unexpected places. And for us right now, suddenly holy ground isn't the church building where we've been for perhaps for generations on a Sunday. Holy ground becomes our home on a Sunday morning. Many holy grounds all around the place. Um, Holy ground is where doctors and nurses and hospital staff are working with those who are uh, in desperate need of their care. Holy ground is where our loved ones may be sick, may be in hospital. It's especially where uh, folk are dying or grieving. Holy ground is where multitudes are clapping on the street. Um, it, it's holy ground when hundreds of thousands are volunteering to help. Holy ground is where you and I stand right now. This is holy ground. And the invitation is for us to take off our shoes. I don't mean literally, but take off our blindfolds, our masks, <laughs> and notice that God is with us. The chorus goes, this is holy ground, this is where perfect love is found. This where heaven and earth are near, there's a thin place here right now. There's mystery and wonder here. This is truly holy ground. shoes this is holy ground open your eyes to the glory all around take off your mask let fear subside and in this moment
feel the ground that is beneath our feet And as we journey this is our song This is the dance that leads us on Um, I don't underestimate the enormity of what we're going through. Um, we've got no idea what we're going to face. But God is not absent. He is profoundly present. And my, my prayer would be that you would know this in the days that are to come.